My name is Maurice Franco and I'm part of the Canvas Project. <laughs> the volcanic power of creation! I'm an artist, and you're here because I'm an artist that paints in the street. And uh, my name is Morris Franco. Three years I've been there painting, pretty much on and off full time. I do stuff like uh, running to the art gallery of New South Wales, go to the uh, most popular place, which is a restaurant, and make public announcements to everybody. <laughs> As a total way of circumventing this idea that you can't talk publicly to people, why not? Yeah, we are so controlled. Anyway, I went there and I said, excuse me, everybody, and they all quietened down. Guess what I said? What, what, what could you say to anybody like that? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I said, excuse me, everybody, but I want you to know from the of my heart and the core of my being that I love you. Problem we all have is I feel separate. And in that isolation is all the neurosis and hell and fear of the entire world and suffering for all of us. And the solution is very simple. You are not separate. You are at one with the glory and grandeur and magnificence of creation here now in this very moment. And there is nothing wrong with you. And you are utterly and gloriously perfect and always are and always will be. We suffer because we think that there's something wrong with us and that we will die. And my painting is to show, to express the forthrightness of the glory of creation. It's beneficence pouring forth for you eternally. It's a technique that I've discovered. The canvas is unprimed and saturated wet and the water down acrylic paints go on it and immediately are dragged to the edges. I have the rhythms of flames of fire like this. And this is in direct opposition to what our society is based on, which is Euclidean geometry. Squares, circles, right, stiff, isolated, rigid shapes, right? The universe is actually composed of these flowing rhythm, these torrents, yeah? And what happens is as you, and of course the water and my gestural marks makes these rhythms. And when you look at these rhythms, you melt with them. And the stasis of your mind, the hardness of your mind flows with them and your spirit starts to flow and you start to feel happy. What I'm actually tr trying to convey is to give people an understanding of the grandeur that they are. I believe there is a, a template, a model, that society believes in, that people bow down to and think they have to fit into, and then when they try and fit in they fail, they think they failed, but that's because they're just trying to fit into a mold already given to them. Life's not like that. Mm. Life is whatever you make it. And there's nothing stopping anybody doing anything they want, especially art. You can do art anywhere, in any way. I just went up on the street and started painting, and there you are. I don't need an art gallery. I don't need permission to do it. I just do it. And I think that's where people fall down. I think they need uh, recognition. You don't need recognition. You just need to give of yourself, and all will happen for you. Next on The Canvas Project, we head into the spooky and surreal world of street art with Stephen Nuttall. Thing that you can look at, so you, like you can read into it if you if you want, but you can also just go, ah, oh, that's that's pretty, that's cool looking. 